Lisa, you're watching One Lisa Show. And if you see her or hear a jingle, it is Miss Money Penny. She is somewhere around. I am still on medical leave, but I was feeling good today and I have had a lot of time to spend looking at patterns and watching sewing videos. And so this is um, a quick top five list of celebration style or special occasion garment patterns that I have found that I would seriously consider making or wearing to an, an event. My day-to-day -day job is I'm a realtor. I am being installed as next year's president of my local realtor association. It's kind of a big deal. However, with what's going on with my body and my recovery, I do not know if I will be attending. Last year I was installed as the president-elect and when I went it was a gala. We're having a gala again this year. So it is a, a special occasion party. I have made my last two years, I have made my dress. This year, if I can go, I don't, I won't be able to make my dress. However, I had been looking and scouring and searching the interwebs to find what I would consider the perfect gala dress for me to be installed. There are five patterns I absolutely love. I have made one and one was my gala dress last year. So that is my, my special mention and that will be my last one. And these are no particular order. Number one, we have Vogue patterns. It's V1655. This is a general special occasion dress. This is described as a close fitting line dress with front and back pleating detail. It does um, boning invisible right side zipper and it also has a left side vent. So it has a slide slit is what it has. It is what I would consider a very, a twist on a very classic cocktail dress. I think this is appropriate for many formal gatherings. I love the fact that it doesn't have spaghetti straps. I love that it's more like this wide V and it just, the straps are wide and they cover just that section of the shoulder. I think that is really cool. And if you look at the line drawings, every the pleats on the front and back both come and gather at the side, at the waist to kind of give that that cinched in look. I think depending on what fabric you use, this could be perfect for high school reunions, uh, family reunions, weddings. You could wear it for formal dinners, galas, celebrations, New Year's Eve especially. I think it could be super pretty. And if it's cold where you are in your neck of the woods, where it would be for me too here in Indiana, I think a shawl, a capulet, something would be so chic with this. So I really do like this. It is considered an advanced pattern and it looks like it is very figure flatter flattering for most body styles. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she is just making noises. Dress number two is something I think is probably the easiest of all the dresses on here. I I absolutely love this. This is probably my first place item that I would pick out of all of them because I think it's something that could be done relatively quick. I think it has a lot of options for this pattern. And if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. This is McCall's 8142. It is a knit dress. It has a bodice and skirt variations, but the variation I absolutely love is the off the shoulder, the one shoulder with the gathered A-line skirt with the slit in it. And I think that is view C. If you look at the line drawings here, it's got so many options and I feel like it's almost a mix and match. Um, you can wear something more fitted with balloon sleeves. It is knit pull on dress, which what I'm thinking gorgeous sequined knits. I'm thinking plush velour knits. I just, there's options. I love it. I think it would be perfect for, again, multiple events. And personally, I think this would have been my gala pick. Um, I did see a couple of really cool variations of this online. And I want to say um, Talisha Creativity by T did a stunning one. Uh, that she posted, this was quite some time ago, but if you look through her Instagram, you will see, or if you look through the hashtag M8142, you will find her pattern, her pictures, which by the way, she's a model. She does, she has the most beautiful pictures. <laughs> I, I want her secrets. Um, 
it is my top pick. I think there's a lot of variations. If you are in an area where it's maybe cooler, you might want to do the longer sleeves and have the longer skirt. I, I just, I think this is, could be done any time of year and it is just a really um, forward thinking pattern. And my third pick, which is probably my second choice for if I was going to make my outfit for my installation, is Simplicity 9142. This is a Mimi G style pattern by Simplicity. Um, I don't know if I've ever made a Mimi G pattern. I may have, I may not have, I can't remember. I'd have to look through my notes, which are tucked away in an area where I can't spread myself out to look. But this is a Mrs. Jumpsuit. It has a one shoulder, what they're calling a drape. It has various lengths for the legs and for the sleeves. It could be a puffy sleeve or it could be a, a flared, uh, a flared like a butterfly sleeve. Designed by Mimi G, um, she is a little short and has curves all of which so do I. So I think this would be a perfect fit pattern for me. I love that she shows on the Simplicity website, there are pictures of her in a more casual base version where maybe she's wearing it to a church outing. And then there's another one where it's this bright lime green that also looks perfect for a wedding. I love the off the shoulder look I have since the summer when I made my swimsuit it is a trend I would like to continue. I just think it's smart. I love the wide leg pants look to it. And if you shortened it and it kind of looked like culottes, it I probably, depending on your fabric choice, you could use a Georgette or a chiffon and line it and it might be more geared for Sunday brunch or Mother's Day. However, Going to a party at night, I think this in a satin or a sateen solid color would look so spectacular or even maybe with sequin accents. I just think this is really sharp looking and forward fashion thinking. I love it. I think for a gala, it would be absolutely perfect and different. And that is what I would want to if I wasn't pressed for time, that's what I would go with. If I was pressed for time, I would go with that knit dress, hands down. Now, what would my style be like if I didn't share with you a vintage reprint pattern? So my fourth pick is a Vogue pattern, but it is a 1966 reprint, and it is Vogue V1885. I think this, just from the artwork, I would take this and I would frame the envelope because I love the artwork alone. This is a dress in two different lengths. It is a full strapless dress gathered with an underdress and a foundation. It has a self-bias tube bow or a ribbon bow, your choice, under the bust line. And it is something that would be perfect for walking that bridal fabric aisle at Joann's. I mean, from the the netting, the tool, all the lace that they offer at Joann's, I would be smitten to go through that that aisle of the fabric sh um, section and I would just want to go hog wild and not care about the prices for some of those laces or tools or shimmery fabrics, the organzas. I think there's a lot of options here. I, I like that it's set up as an evening or mid-length, mid-knee length. It reminds me of a Barbie. So I could imagine, this looks like a Barbie's wedding dress. There's a lot of nostalgia there. I love the look of it. This is a 1966 design. I think even though some people might say it is very old fashioned looking, I think it could be still fashionable. Of course, who am I to say? Because my fashion is unlike most other people's. But this is my vintage vintage pick. I really think it's a cool pattern. I love the artwork alone, but I am drawn to those 60s and 70s styles for sure. And rounding it out is my pick number five, which I have personally made. I wore it for my gala last year. It is the Deer and Doe Magnolia dress. This dress is fabulous because it does have a huge range for sizes. So that is very size inclusive. It has an optional slit, two lengths, 
and two different sleeve variations plus two different neckline variations. They have, I guess it's just how deep of a neckline do you want? This again is a dress that could be as simple, could be done simple and in a flowy viscose and worn to a family reunion, a church brunch, Easter Sunday. Or like I did, I bought a Georgette from Minerva.com. I fully lined it and I made the full length version with the long sleeves and I absolutely loved it. I'll insert a picture of me in it. I thought this, I felt pretty in it. The long slit was not too revealing, but it did break up the monotony of all that fabric. It was a fabric hungry long dress, but at the same time, I, I loved how I looked in it wasn't that hard of a sew and I fully lined mine but I lined each panel so I sewed it panel by panel lined I did not do a full I probably I took the shortcut in lining it but at the same time I knew that that was a dress I was probably only going to wear a few times throughout my life and I was making it for that one specific moment the Deer and Doe Magnolia dress is a pdf that you can put together yourself or get copy shop AO printed, which is what I did because Big Daddy has one of those massive printers at his work. So most of my PDF uh, patterns from Deer and Doe come in the AO and I highly do recommend that because what's wonderful about it is you can trace out the patterns as you go, different sizes, make your adjustments and you still have that original and it is a nice firmer piece of paper so it is sturdy and that's what I like. So there you have it. Those are my top five picks for special occasion wear. Now that we're at the end of the year, this is a great time to start thinking about those Christmas parties, the New Year parties, all the celebrations that people try to cram in before the end of the year. I hope you found this helpful. I think there's a wide array if you're looking for fancy um, or formal and or even casual. And depending on what fabrics you use, it can make a world of difference. So there you have it. This is something that's not my norm of giving a video about. If you did like this or if you have any additions or questions, please leave it in the comments below. Which one of these would be your pick for a part, formal party this year? Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.